Hi, I'm Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the Casting Society of America's Ardios Awards, the annual celebration where we talk about all things casting directors and celebrate the ones who have won this year. Red Carpet Report. Red Carpet Report. Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I'm Jason Hankel. You have excellent teeth. <laughs> Really Are they though? Too white? No. They were too white. I was no. Like, no, they're not too. White. I don't know <laughs> if that's a thing. <laughs> I'm a, I mean, I, all the credit goes to my dentist. I love Doctor uh, Doctor Zagovia. I love you, Doctor Zagovia. He's awesome. He's the best. Yeah, I'm sure he's like, yes, yes, that's yes. I make good teeth. That's probably what he's. Doing. I'm obsessed with my teeth. So thank you for noticing that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So what is one of the things in you do and what you do? That you would love people to understand about you. Would that be talent, or casting director, or casting directors, or um, you know, I work specifically in voiceover. I'm the casting director uh, one of the animation studios at Disney. And um, I think voiceover is an area that a lot of people wonder about. They don't really know how to get into it. And it's, it is a very uh, small group of people that do well in that field. Um, so I would encourage people that, you know, watch animated movies, watch cartoons, and are interested in that to really just get into specific voiceover classes. And uh, really specifically study the craft in addition to acting. There are specific classes for voiceover acting, and I think it really helps set people apart who, who, uh, who have an interest in that career. Was there anything you wanted to do outside of this that you maybe did before, before you fell into it? I, did, I, wanted to, I came here to California to be an actor uh, a long time ago, 22 years ago. Oh my God, you're so young. Five years ago. You're immortal. <laughs> It's a miracle. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, that was what that was what really. I moved from New York and came out to California to act, and uh, I pursued it for about six years, and then decided to move into the business side of things. And so the fit with casting, having been an actor and uh, loving actors, and really having a passion for the business, getting to work in casting and getting to hire people when I know how hard it is to get a job, uh, it's very rewarding. I have the same feeling when I got a part as I do when I get to give one now. It's weird. I'm, that sounds, that that sounds like, amazing. Yeah, it's odd. I don't. I, 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 I'm so happy for the actors, and I know how hard they work. That when I get to make the call uh, and let somebody know they got something, I get really excited. Do you get some of the most excited, like screams and stuff? What's what's maybe one of your the highlights that you've heard in your life that someone has screamed when you called and said they had a part? Um, you know, Mae Whitman, who played the voice of Tinkerbell, who's in Legend of the Never Beast that we were nominated for tonight. Mae Whitman, I've known since she was 12 years old, and when she she came in to read for the role of Tinkerbell, there was a lot of actors that were up for that part, and it was so exciting when we got to tell her that she had uh, she had been cast, and she's done six films with us now, a TV special, she, and of course watching her grow up on Parenthood and, and uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower, it's just really an honor to be able to watch her as a young child and then to get to work with her. That was awesome. exciting. Congratulations on everything, awesome. and I hope you guys are definitely winning tonight. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Nice Bye. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching, and if you like my interviews, hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite villain this year was.